Hi, my name is Alicia. Hi, I'm Megan. Nice to meet you, Megan. Nice How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm good. 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 How are you? I'm doing wonderful. It's good. beautiful outside. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> How are you liking Professor Arndorfer's class? I love her class. Honestly, amazing. She's one of my favorite teachers. Nice. Yeah, yes. she's a great professor. Yes. That's awesome. Um, so I wanted to take the time to thank you for coming in today. I really appreciate it. Um, we just have a couple of questions. Um, You've been suspected to have cheated on an exam with another student, and um, I just want to kind of take the time to hear your side of the story and get all of the information. Um, so thank you for coming. Yeah, in. of course. Thank you. Um, <laughs> awesome. Okay, so um, do you have any questions before we begin? I think so, no. Okay, um, I'm going to take some notes if you don't mind. Of course not. Okay, and I want you to give me as much information as you can, even if you think it's trivial or unimportant. Um, it may help us. Okay. Situation. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Um, thank you. So, um, the day you went into Dr. Arndorfer's um, office, what did you do? Uh, my friend Charlotte and I were going in to ask some questions about an upcoming exam this week. Uh, she was already in there with another student, Maya, uh, asking questions, so we just kind of waited off to the side until she was done. And then professor got called into another office, so Charlotte and I just waited in there until she came back. She was probably gone like five, ten minutes. Okay. Uh, came back, I asked her a few questions, left the room while Charlotte was asking her questions, and then we met back up after that and left. Okay, so you said that Professor Arndorfer stepped away for five to ten minutes? Yes. Okay, and while she was gone, what did you and Charlotte do? We just kind of sat off to the side, um, back of the room. We just waited for her to come back. Okay, and um, that was it. That was all that happened. Yeah, we just sat there, uh, talked about our days. We were on our phones, social media, just chilling until she got back. Okay, um, and you didn't move around the office, touch anything, uh, look around? Nope. Okay, um, and do you know Charlotte outside of class? Like, what's your, what's your relationship like with her? Um, we haven't known each other for that long. We met each other in this class, actually. Uh, we started kind of hanging out because we both needed some help in the class, so we figured we could help one another okay. um, understand a little better. So we got gotten together a few times to study and talk about the class, and we just kind of got closer and now we're friends. So. Okay, and uh, you say you guys get together and study. Like, do you have any form of communication outside of class, or is that... Like, what's, what is the communication outside of class that gets you there? Um, I just, we have each other's phone numbers, so we just kind of text back and forth sometimes, make plans to meet up for okay. studying, whatever. And what was it that you said you did after leaving Dr. Rondorfer's office? We met back up and left the building. We just went back to my house and studied for a little bit for the class, went over the questions we asked her, the answers, and just studied for a little bit. Okay, and after you guys studied, um, what did you guys do? Uh, Charlotte left, and then we didn't see each other until the next day at class. <clears throat> so the only form of communication that you both had that day was in person, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, so we do have confirmation from Dr. Hughes that both of you had left at the same time together, um, after you were done talking to Dr. Orndorfer. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, I mean, that's confirmed. Um, so you had stated that you hadn't talked to her any other form than in person, but we do have confirmation, a statement said, um, a statement made from Charlotte uh, saying that you had actually shared the answers with her over the phone. Can you explain that? Well, after she did leave my house, I did send her a text message. They weren't the answers. They were um, a study guide regarding the questions that we had asked Professor in the class earlier that day. She had forgotten hers at my house. She needed a picture to study for the exam, and so I just sent that over to her, but that was it. Okay, so there, were, there was no test answers, no, um, no, no sharing of answers no. whatsoever. Just study guide. Okay. Um, so... Let's go back to while you were in the office. Dr. Arndorfer was gone. You two were in there. Um, you had stated that you hadn't touched anything or moved the, from the chairs um, at all while she was gone, correct? No. You hadn't touched anything the whole time you had been in there? No. Okay. Um, so we do have fingerprints 
on the filing cabinet where the um, test answers were were stored. Um, can you explain that? Um, well, honestly, when she was gone, I had noticed that her desk drawer was open. Um, I had noticed that it kind of made a looked like the form of a test. Um, Charlotte was saying something how maybe we could walk over, take a peek at the test results. I, you know, didn't have a good feeling about that, so I just walked over and shut the door while Professor was out of the classroom and went back to Charlotte and we resumed what we were talking about before and that was it. Okay, so... Okay. So you had touched the door then? Yes. Right. Okay. Um, okay, well, thank you so much for providing all of this information. Of course. Um, I want to let you know that this interview is kind of coming to a close, and um, I'm going to review the information that I have here that you have provided today. Um, so basically, you went into the office, you had talked to Dr. Arndorfer, and then you had walked out with Charlotte Price. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, thank you so much for coming in and providing Oops. that. Um, do you have any questions at this point for me? Uh, I do, actually. So, like... What exactly does this mean for me when you guys going to find out everything for, you know, the investigation academically? Like what, when? Okay, uh, that's a good question. So this can lead to expulsion, you know, the, um, the consequences for cheating. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to take this seriously and we're going to look into everything. And as soon as we have all of the information, we've done the whole interview and the whole investigation, then we will um, come back to you with our answer. Okay, um, we will be continuing the um, investigation to try to, you know, deduce what had happened. Um, if we have any questions, we'll reach out to you. If you have any questions or any additional information, please um, reach back out to me um, and let me know. So thank you so very much for coming in. I appreciate it. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. Thanks. Uh, good luck with the rest of the semester. Um, I know finals are coming up, so study hard, work towards what your goal is. Um, yeah. Thank you. Well. Thank you so much. Of course.